Yo guys, this is Flyro. You already know you are back and watching another episode of the Fire Emblem Let's Play. Uh, this is episode number three already, which is pretty awesome. And yeah, I figured I'm going to start my intros at this uh, screen right here. Um, because as soon as I hit A, it's just going to go straight into the story for the next chapter. So, we're going to dive right into this and get right into the story. So, that's, that's, that's about it. Woo! Sword of Spirits. A small altar lies on the outskirts of Bulgar. This ancient temple, sacred to the people of Sakai, has long been known for its powerful bond to the world of spirits. Before starting their journey, our travelers come here to pray for their well-being. At this altar, Lin's hand is directed to a grand inheritance. Oh, that, that was the end. <laughs> uh, my voice definitely did not make it sound like that was the end. Sword of Spirits. Very nice, very nice. <coughs> oh, it's this one. Okay, this is a really cool, this is a cool chapter. I like this. Cyro, hold a moment and allow me a short detour. There's a sacred sword in, a sacred sword enshrined in an altar east of here. The people of Sakai go there to pray for safety at the onset of a long journey. Oh, how quaint. The teachings of Elamine, Elamine, have the most followers in Lieb. It is nice to see that here, at least, the ancient customs are still observed. Oh, but there's bandits. Bandit. Bandits? Wow. Bandits. Old man. Old man. Stay where you are and hold your tongue. Threaten me as you will, but I will not give up the Manicotti. The Manicotti is a sacred blade under divine protection. It cannot be removed from its place of rest. You're a fool, old man. What good's a sword if you don't use it? Use it in combat sacrilege. Sacrilege, I am glass. My name is very thought <laughs> glass. His name is glass. Are you serious? The gods fear my name. My sword plays fair. Nobody fears the name glass. Get out of here. And if I want the sword, then the sword I shall have. Now get out of my way. Oof. Oof. All right. This is it. It's more magnificent, magnificent than I'd imagine. This sword was made for swordsmen of my skill. Hmm. What's this? I can't. I can't draw the sword from the scabbard. The spirits of the blade have judged you. You have been found wanting. They have rejected you. What? Listen, you see now, old fool. If you value your own life, you'll get out of my sight. So yeah, it's one of those things where the sword has to like choose the owner. Blah blah blah. And this guy's not getting that sword. Are you serious? Are you serious? Curses, miserable spirits. I care nothing for you. I'll tear this altar down stone by stone. Wow. So now this girl's gonna come running. Oh, hey, she's a green unit. I beg your pardon, my lady. Are you headed east to the altar? Yes, we are indeed. Then you must hurry and help the priest there. I saw a band of local ruffians head in there not long ago. They seemed intent on stealing the altar's sacred sword. The Manicotti? They're gonna steal it? I cannot allow this to happen. You look like a virtuous group. Please help him. Lindus, what are you planning? If you hope to go to the priest's aid, you'll need to prepare. You're right. Say, Slyro, there are some homes to the south of us. Perhaps we should go there and question the residents. All right, so this one, they are teaching you about uh, visiting the houses and other buildings that you can uh, visit. Pretty much houses. Uh, there's some, like, uh, villages or uh, different things like that that you can get stuff. So... We're going to visit all these these three houses right here. Say, aren't you the... Oh, you're going to help the priest. Well, perhaps you could benefit from something I saw earlier. The bandits may have the eight main entrance guarded. However, one of the altar's walls is cracked. Keep that in mind and in poor repair. You might be able to create another entrance. All right, so that is a good hint um, that you probably would not really think about uh, your first time playing this game. So, Sane is going to go to this house right now and what is this guy? Mountains make it more difficult to be hit they're difficult to traverse if you're riding on horseback so cavaliers and other units on horseback cannot even go through mountains at all which um, if you see ah come on I wanna see as if you see right here these are mountains you can see on the bottom corners of either the left or right, depending on where I'm at, it says MNTN. These are mountains, which means I can't even go this way with either with uh, Sane or Kent. Um, there's no possible familiar way to do that because they're on horseback. I can go that way with Lindis 
if I would like with Lynn, I guess her, her name is uh, her name is Lindis, but in she's still called Lynn. That's what uh, she pretty much goes by uh, for our for our things. You know what I mean? Do you do you know much about the sword held at the altar? I don't know if I'm a guy or a girl, but it's called the Manikati, blessed by the spirits. According to the priest, Manikati is waiting for the rightful owner to appear. It's so odd, don't you think? The idea that a sword can choose who will wield it. So I think it's pretty obvious what can happen or what's going to happen. But uh, I mean, I'm not gonna say anything because I'm not that kind of person. Um, these oh oh fortresses offer more protection than woods do fighting from the space in a fortress remember this holds true for friend and foe alike fortresses also allow injured units to regain hit points that is really uh really helpful um like if you remember the first episode where that guy um uh went through um where he like regained his health by being in like that fortress thing well same thing applies here so i'm just gonna like stay in the woods and the fortresses and oh, he's going to come after me in the woods. Uh, the computer is not always the very smartest. Mm, they're they're not always smart in this game. They could make better decisions sometimes. So yeah. All right. So we need to seize the throne. Um, so we can take as many turns as we need, um, and all that good stuff. But yeah, we are going to. We are going to seize the throne. So let me make sure of something really quick. I always want to make sure that uh, someone on the other side of cracked walls do not have uh, hand axes or other uh, two or like long range weapons. I haven't seen any so far. Um, if I do see them, I'll, I'll let you know. That way we can. That way I can uh, talk about them. But I'm gonna use my lance. I haven't actually. I should probably still use. No, no, no. I'm gonna use my sword. What am I doing? So we're gonna attack the wall. Break the wall down. And, oh, I was, I was going to attack. What? Oh, screw it. I already messed up. Oh, wow. See, but he can't even hit me. He's got a 26% chance of hitting me. Even if he does, it's going to do 4 damage. Bam. Yeah, you get the little uh, summary things right when you're fighting, too, if you don't feel like reading the screen beforehand. You can kind of read it as it's happening. But that's not always the smartest thing to do. And, oh, he tried to be in a forest. Woo, I still have a 90%, 92% chance of hitting you. And I did. So you, you can do that. You can, you can, you can, yeah, you can die. You can die. I like when you die. It makes me happy. Sane is a little bit stronger than Ken, it looks like. Uh, I forget, did he level up? But an extra level or something? Uh, I'm not even sure. Is that, no, he's still level one. He's just cooler, I guess. And <laughs> Lin is just like taking the long way. Attack! Oh, there we go. This is going to take it out. Bam. So usually you don't want to have too many units of the same kind. Uh, once we get enough units to really have like a like a whole like thing going on. Because uh, there will be there will come a time where you have more units than you're allowed to take into the battle. And so you have to like be picky as far as like which ones you take in. So that means some of these characters are going to come along with us and then like never be used. So that happens. Take that. Bam. And dodge. Yeah. Lynn's a beast. Lynn's a beast. <laughs> and we're just going to uh, destroy this cracked wall. Well, I'm going to destroy the wall uh, that is cracked. And now we can get in through this way. So I'm pretty sure because he's on a throne, there's like a 99.999% chance that he's not going to actually leave his throne to even attack me. So I'm good right here. I want a little bit of a pillar. Does that offer uh, protection? I'm not actually not sure. I would like to try. I would like to test that out. There's a 25% chance uh, for him to hit me. So I wonder if I were to attack him from here, does that go up? Yeah, now there's a 45% chance of him attacking me. Cool. I mean, I have a 100% chance of attacking. That's why I didn't go back and attack from the pillar. The smart move would be to go back and attack from the pillar um, if I actually had any worries about me not taking him down. But that was not the case. And Lin can travel through the mountains. What, what do you have? Glass. Oh, so feared glass. You have a sword. Uh, is a mercenary. Mercenary is a really cool class. Um, I can't wait till we get one of them. 
yeah. They're, they're, they're amazing. Who do you... The last guy said the same thing. No, you're not allowed to sing because you're on original. Who do you think you are? What chance... What chance do you think you have against me? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. See, 75% chance to hit. Missed. 67%... Chance to hit. Missed. That that is pretty much what happens. Oh, he's attacking me. I was like, what's happening? <laughs> and now we both hit. Yeah, there will be time where I have like an 80% chance and then like I'll miss them like twice in a row. And they'll have like a 30% chance and they'll like hit me. And so this 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 game will be unfair at times. Iron sword. No, iron lance. Iron lance is what I want. And Kent deals the final blow. But the chapter is not over, even though I beat the boss. Oh, I didn't gain a level. Got a vulnerary though. Oh, I forgot. Uh, you'll get items for after defeating enemies. When I looked at his thing, um, if you look at an enemy's uh, like profile, whatever, where you like see like the weapons that it's carrying, if anything is flashing, like this green color, like the word will be like like green and kind of flashing. It means that you're gonna get it as soon as you uh, beat them, which is pretty cool. Oh, glowing yellow, they describe it. And I'll just move there because I have nothing better to do. Come at me, brah. Come at me, brah. I'm sure I'm going to stay right there in the woods. Are you going to come at me? Yeah, come at me, brah. 16% chance to hit me. I do not think so. Also, also, a lot of times you get crits way more often than uh, the percentage chance leads you to believe. Like, if it's more than zero, like, there's a, there's an, an actual legitimate chance that you will get a critical hit. Or that you will get a critical hit done to you. Which is really scary. So, okay, I was at low. And we can just end the turn instead of worrying about moving the other... other uh, Team team members gets it over faster and sees after a cutscene. All your clothing's are you of the Lorca tribe? I'm Lynn, the chieftain's daughter. Are you hurt, sir? Thanks to you, I'm unscathed. You have my gratitude. And the sword, is it safe? Yes, I have sealed the sword safely away. Until I remove my spell, the sword cannot be drawn. What? So he has a spell. So he lied. Or does, is the spell that you have to be worthy to draw it, or something like that? Because he kind of lied. Now as a token of my gratitude, I shall allow you to lay hands upon the Manikati. Touch the blade's pattern and pray for a safe journey. Oh, thank you so much. Hmm? What did... The sword, it's glowing. Ah! It's the power of the spirits. Lynn, they have looked into your soul and they call out to you. What does that mean? You are its rightful owner. You are to wield the Manicotti. No, I can't. I couldn't. It is the sword's wish. If you require proof, draw it from its sheath. Um. Well, what? Did you just remove your spell so she can do that now? So you can make this all, all plot just come together? <laughs> it came out effortlessly. I never dared to hope that I might meet the wielder of the Manikati in my life. I am indeed fortunate to see your sword reach your hand, or whatever. My sword. It's time for you to go, Lin. You face a great many ordeals. Grip the sword and meet your destiny head on. Head on. Apply directly into your enemy's chest. <laughs> Got the Manikati. That is a sword weapon that only Lin can use. I cannot give it to anybody else. Um, Lin, yeah, Lin can use it, and it is a pretty OP weapon, honestly. It's the most famous sword in all of K. It's not so strange, in fact, many legends tell similar tales, special blades all over. Yes, Manikati is not the only blade, um, that is special, not the only weapon that is special. Um, that will come into play more towards the end of the game, but, uh, yeah, we'll get them when we get there. The sword was waiting for you. You were meant to draw it. Stop it, I... I'm nothing special. Think of it this way. Some weapons feel more comfortable in your hand, right? Well, the Manikati itself feels very comfortable with you. Does this make it any easier for you to accept? It doesn't appear that either of us can use it. It does feel right in my hand. That's what she said. A blade that only I can wield. 
that seems reasonable enough. I can understand that. Look at it, Slyro. <sighs> oh my gosh. Out of all the lines, like all these lines, half of them, you can just say that's what she said and just make it not serious anymore. Just saying. <laughs> this is the Manikati. This is my sword. I must care for it well. Also, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing half this stuff right, but in my experience, as long as you sound confident on the way that you're pronouncing it, people will go along with it and never question it. So, just keep that in mind. And even, like, if you look at a word and you're just like, oh, there's no way I could even possibly pr pretend to announce, pr pronounce it, it's just like, stop hesitating, just, just read it. If it's not right, oh well, say it with confidence and then everyone's going to think it's right. Bam. What? Madeline's daughter is still alive? <laughs> he looks like an evil, like, like, thing like that. Oh, yes, Lord Lundgren. The girl is traveling with Kenton Sane. What are your orders? If we let them be. Bah! I've heard that northern bird is full of bandits. She's just a girl. She'll not survive her journey here. I'm more concerned with my older brother. His life must be ended quickly. The poison. There must be no blunders. Yes, my lord. He suspects nothing and continues to drink it. They are poisoning, he is poisoning his own brother. He is poisoning, uh, the Marcus. <laughs> soon. Soon, Kaylin will be mine. All mine. <laughs> Alright, well. <laughs> that ends, uh, the, uh, this episode this time. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed, um, that chapter right there. Um, every episode is just going to be one chapter. As we get towards the end and chapters are longer, um, we'll see if I want to keep them still one episode at a time or want to split it up in half and half. We will see. Um, but that's way down the road. If you did enjoy this episode, make sure you hit the like button. Answer the question of the day, as always. And until the next time, guys, stay sly.